Hey everyone, Sean here with DTF Tech Talk. I am the proud owner of Hometown Hype Custom Apparel in Franklin, Pennsylvania. So I wanna just take a moment, okay, and talk to you guys about the importance of vectorizing your artwork before you print it, okay? So everything that I hear in discussions and talk and forums is that I'm getting the impression that the majority of the DTF community is utilizing PNG format when they're ripping their files for their printer. There is 100% with zero doubt a better way to do it, and that is by vectorizing your artwork, okay? Now, the problem is that vectorizing artwork is difficult, okay? It is a skill and a talent all its own. If you're good in Photoshop, that does not translate into Adobe Illustrator, which is the program you use for making uh, SVG, .ai, PDF, vector files, right? Um, and it can be a difficult thing to learn. The good news is, is it's easy to hire um, dedicated artists who all they do all day long is take vector raster images uh, like PNG and JPEG files and convert them into vector formats. Okay, I have a few examples here. So a few months ago, like six months ago, we decided that like pretty much everything we do is going to be converted to vector. And like it's really helped to grow our business because the results speak for themselves. Um, now, there's some exceptions. Like if a customer wants one shirt, we have no minimums here. If a customer wants one shirt of their dog, right, it's like a photorealistic image. Okay, that's the exception. Uh, you know, we're really just trying to help someone out. We're not going to spend hours vectorizing the artwork. But here I want to show you guys here. I have a few examples of uh, vector images and I'm going to show you on my stuff that I sell. I don't know how close up this is, but you guys can see that this is a vector. This is based off vector art. In this act, you can see it, the lines are crisp. They're clear. The curves don't have what's called stepping, which looks like jagged edges and pixelated edges. There's no white outline. So a lot of times DTF printers will think that they are, uh, their head is out of alignment because they have white outlines on their prints. But that could be true, but it could also just be the fact that there's semi-transparent outlines along the edges of your objects in your PNG files. So uh, you can see my, my artwork here has none of that. It's crisp, it's clear, it doesn't have jagged edges. The curves are smooth and consistent, right? It is very difficult to get a smooth and consistent curve with a raster image, okay? Um, let's pull something else down real quick and I'll show you one other. Uh, let's take this one for example. So this one, this is a design here that has intentional distressing in it, but it's still a, a, a vector image. It's an SVG file, okay? So again, you guys can see that the lines are clear, they're crisp, the curves are, are nice and curved, they're not jagged, right? And adding the distressing is still possible inside of Adobe Illustrator. Um, like I said, it takes a long time to get good at Adobe Illustrator, but it is a skill that you can learn or you can hire for, for like 10 bucks a pop, right? I have a few examples here I just wanted to share with you guys. And you could possibly identify, oh yeah, that's my prints look like that and I'm not sure why. It's, it, this is why, it's because you're using raster images, PNGs, JPEG, right, PNGs. You're using raster images such as PNGs instead of vectorizing your artwork. So. Look in this design here. Okay, if I get up close, it looks, it looks okay from afar, right? But when I get up close, what I'm gonna note, what you guys are gonna notice, where's my camera, over here. See these jagged edges on the design, right? That's called stepping. If you think of a PNG image, right? Think of it as, as a grid of pixels, right? There's an X -Y axis and a Y axis. And all that the image is telling it is that at this x, y coordinate, this is the color of the pixel, right? So if you have a curved line, right, or a curve of any kind, it'll show up as stepping. So the pixels will go like this, right, left, right. They can only be boxes. With a vector image, that's not true. So a vector image, an SVG file, right, it has the calculus to explain to the computer the curve of the line. So you get actual curved lines, not jagged edged, uh, examples like you just saw. Additionally, this one's harder to show on the, the screen because it's not pressed on something. But if you look at this design, you look closely. This has white 
outlines all around it. I really had to dig hard to find examples of really crappy prints because we we know what we've been doing for quite a while now. Um, so I really had to dig down and go years back to find crappy examples. But there, if I put my hand behind it, you guys can see it has this white outline along the edge here. That's not because the printer was out of whack, right? It's because they're semi-transparent pixels on the edge of the objects inside the PNG file, okay? So if you guys are getting problems where you're having like weird white outlines and you're, you're trying to mess with your um, choke, on your rip settings, you're trying to get your printer heads aligned. It's not necessarily because of your printer heads, it is because you got bad files, you got bad artwork, right? So that's something to think about. Additionally, here's another example, right? Here's one that really could have benefited. This wouldn't have been very hard to image trace inside of Illustrator, which is a feature that allows you to, uh, it's like a computerized rendering of what it, it the computer thinks uh, the conversion should be from raster to vector, okay? So um, if I get up close, this doesn't look bad, but if I was gonna press this on a shirt, there is so many extra, like look at all that white, right? All that white that shouldn't be there is there. This is even like a halftone image too. Look at that, all that's white, right? All that white, right? This is an image that you could vectorize and you would get no white, right? So that's all something to think about. I just wanted to make, you know, we were using DTF for, whew, for a year before, and this has been a few years ago at this point, before we even understood the difference between utilizing SVG files versus PNG files. But guys, if there is any opportunity for you guys to vectorize your artwork, if you're printing more than 10 of something, vectorizing is a must. You need to be vectorizing your artwork. If you guys haven't already, start to learn Illustrator. It is very frustrating, especially if you're, you have some skills inside of Photoshop. It can be very frustrating because it is very different. It isn't just different like all the keyboard shortcuts are different and the, uh, uh, everything's in a different spot. It's that you need to really <clears throat> think about the artwork in the program differently when you're dealing with vector files versus dealing with raster files. And I think Adobe knows that and they know that they're different, but there's just no way to do it better because of how different the processes are, right? It is learnable. I've learned over the past few years how to do it myself. Very rarely will I hire someone out to vectorize an image, although I will. But um, if you're not in the mood to do that or you guys don't have those skills, find yourself, shop around, find someone that can consistently uh, convert your artwork for you and do it in an inexpensive way so that it's still a good business decision for you. But you guys need, if you're wanting to get the best quality results from your prints and you're wanting to take your business to the next level, you need to be converting your artwork into vector format, okay? Uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I wish I had watched a video like this one a few years ago to understand what that means, right? To understand uh, the importance of vectorizing your, your artwork and how to convert it and what the steps are that can uh, I can take to, to convert my files, right? You don't need to do it yourself. You can hire somebody and it's not that expensive. So uh, I hope this helps someone out there. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, I got a trade show to get to, so wish me some luck. Uh, goodbye everyone.